legalistic systems reject any truths that transfer the mechanism of divine relationship away from the establishment. In other words, when in a legalistic system, when you say it's not up to whether or not you like me or not to determine whether I'm in a relationship with God, they get hot. When you talk about grace and mercy as opposed to legalistic performance, they accuse you of tearing down the standard because all of a sudden, I have a relationship with God regardless of what the rules and my compliance with the culture that exists says. That's their big hang up. Uh, let's see here. The primary conflict faced by the apostles in the Bible was to maintain the liberty of relationship afforded them by Christ in the face of an onslaught of resistance from legalistic factions who presumed power or whose presumed power was being destroyed. You look from the book of Acts all the way to the book of Revelations, and one of the key central themes that you're going to find is a conflict between the liberty that Christ brought and the apostles taught, and the legalism that other factions believed were supposed to be a part of that. Gnosticism uh, was a big part of that. There were different factions that tried to reintroduce legalistic compliance into a system of grace and, and grace and faith in Christ. And that's a lot of what the conflicts that Paul, Peter, John, James were, were dealing with as they went about teaching. Prolonged exposure to legalistic environments creates a religious system dependence where the approval of the community or the religious leaders is equated with that of God. So the 